when I was 10, my family decided to do a really crazy thing and move all the way across the ocean into another world called Germany. And little did I know that when the, in, the sound, in the town nearby Munich, I was in the heart of Bavaria, which is basically the Texas of Germany. So you're probably thinking, what the heck, man? What the heck, man? There can't be another Texas out there, right? Well, listen up. If you think about um, Germany, you think about Dierndl's Lederhosen and beer and Oktoberfests and pro probably it's like kind of the stereotypes that have been associated with Germany. That's actually more Bavaria. The rest of, <laughs> really, the rest of the Germans don't really wear Lederhosen all the time. I mean, well, Bavarians don't either, but it's just when they have really, when they have festivals and stuff like that or special occasions. In a similar way, Texas basically defined what the rest of the, out, the, rest of the people outside the U.S. think of as America cowboy boots, rodeos, and stuff like that in the Western world. I mean, the, what makes Texas, Texas is that it's the biggest and the best place, apparently, and that's basically what Bavaria is like, too. It's the best and the biggest state in Germany, and everyone there speaks with a dialect that everyone else in the North hates, just like everyone else here in, in the U.S. can't understand Texans when they speak. It's hard for Germans to understand Bavarian when they speak, too. They even have their own flag that, that Bavarians like to fly high and, high and proud. Basically, also, they want to be independent from Germany. There is a party called the Bavarian Party whose goal is to be more independent from Germany. Just don't tell, tell me that's not like Texas. And to top it off, I mean, they were, they were their own independent kingdom before, and they were, before they were pulled to Germany. And so that's kind of why they have their own independent way of thinking. It is basically the Texas of Germany, but what is life in Bavaria like? Well, everything's green there. That's not like Texas where it's pretty dry and deserty. It's very green there, it rains a lot, and it can get, it can get pretty chilly, but also it can get pretty warm. So you got, a, you got a lot of diversity of weather there with a lot of rain in there and lots of lakes everywhere and the Alps, which is really, which are really gorgeous. The way of life there also is very relaxed, relaxed, like not fast paced like it is in the U.S. where everything's open 24 hours a day. Everything closes around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and then life just kind of shuts down after that. And I mean, if you go to Munich in the big city, there's still life, there's still a big city life going on there. But where I live in a town called Starnberg, uh, it shuts down about six o'clock and there are a couple of restaurants open up late, a couple of bars maybe, but not many, it's not really as fast paced as it is here in the U.S. with everything having to be instantly and everything, everything having to, ha having to be open 24 seven. So it actually, it actually makes for a really good way of life there. I really like living there because another thing I like living about in, in Bavaria is being able to just take a train to Munich and be there in, in half an hour without having to, having to have a car and having to worry about parking. And also, of course, the Autobahns. You can't go away without mentioning how, fa how awesome it is to be able to drive 130 miles per hour just to pick up your dad at the airport or go to church on Sundays, driving like 110 miles per hour in your family's minivan. It's fun, guys. If you ever get to get the chance to go to Germany, you need to visit Bavaria because it really has a very distinct culture there, and it's very—it's going to be a place you won't never forget.